the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, in this holy sacrifice of the Mass, let us praise and thank the Lord for the many blessings and graces we have received through the help of our Mother Mary, our intercessor. Let us then acknowledge our sins and be sorry for them to prepare ourselves to celebrate this holy sacrifice of the Mass in a worthy manner. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, to and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from personal sor present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. I thank the Lord and I praise Him. I bless the name of the Lord. When I was a young and innocent, I saw the wisdom openly in my prayer. I prayed for her before the temple, and I will seek her until the end. And she flourished as a grape soon ripe. My heart delighted in her, my feet kept to the level of path, because from earliest youth I was familiar with her. In the short time, I paid heed. I met with the great instruction. Since in this way I have profited, I will give my teacher grateful praise. I became resolutely devoted to her, the good I persistently strove for. My soul was tormented in seeking her. My hand opened her gate and I came to know her secrets. 
I directed my soul to her, and in cleanness I attained to her. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold. Sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. We all stand. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples returns once more to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say, Then why did you do not believe him? But shall we say, of human origin. They feared the crowd, for they all thought John really was a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We all be seated. Good morning, Namin. Good morning po sa lahat. And uh, good morning din pala sa mga, hindi lang sa mga uh, parokyanos ng St. Peter and Paul Parish sa Kalasyaw, kundi na rin yung mga ibang nandito po ngayon na bumibisita sa dambana po ng ating Inang Berhen Maria. So we are all gathered here for our uh, Misa de Gracia. Uh, sana po, 
ang pagbisita natin dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag ay maging uh, makabuluhan po para sa ating lahat. Alam po ninyo, uh, sa pagpunta ko dito ngayon sa araw na ito for our Misa de Gracia, tatlo po ang uh, panalangin ko para po sa ating lahat. No? Three prayers for all of us. Unang-una po sa lahat, uh, ang isa sa mga panalangin ko ay yung sana ma magising po, kung naiidlip man, no? magising po sana yung uh, natutulog o naiidlip pong pananampalataya natin sa Panginoon. At pangalawa po, sana mas lalo pang lumakas ang pananampalatayang yan, pati na rin po ang pag-asa natin sa Panginoon. At uh, pangatlo po, sana mas lalo pang lumalim ang debosyon po natin sa ating inang Verhen Maria. Araya ko mong sumagmaliwa epekto na sayay inyakar tayo dyan manawag para at sayay misa di grasya tayo. So unang-una po lahat, yung sinasabi ko pong sana magising ang uh, kung natutulog man, no? kung naidlip man ang pananampalataya natin, sana magising po yan at maging alive na alive ang pananampalataya po natin sa Diyos. Alam po ninyo, uh, dakdakol laod si Katayo kasi so numaminsan ang kukulang at pananisya da o Diyos. Opo, kung tatanungin po natin sila kung Kristiyano ba sila, kung Katoliko po ba sila, the answer definitely will be positive. They will say yes. Pero hanggang doon lang po kung minsan ang pagiging Kristiyano nila o Katoliko nila. Takasi agalara mang gagaway ang tukaman ita na bagay-bagay, ya makapambulaslas o dino uh, umbalag o naralam sa pananisya da o Diyos. Katoliko nga po sila, pero kung titignan po natin, bihira po magsimba. Bihira pong magdasal. Uh, hindi po nabubuhay bilang totoong katoliko o kristyano. Ilan po kaya sa atin dito na nagsisimba at least every Sunday? No? Uh, alam po ninyo, nandyan si Maria. Nandyan po ang inang Verhen Maria. At nilalapit niya po tayo palagi sa kanyang anak na si Jesus. Ag tayo po mong papaawutan, supuso tayo at atangkot na nagagikira. Dengalan tayo panlanang sa imbitasyon nan ina tayon Virgen Maria kanyan kumon sa tanan panani siya tayo no bilbilang at nanawgit uh, kumon ta nabangubangon at saya inya kar tayo ja at uh, saya uh, misa di grasya tayo nata na agaw at pangalawa po sana ang pagpunta po natin dito ngayon sa araw na ito para sa ating misa di grasya ay siya ang maging daan para mas lalo pang lumakas ang pananampalataya natin sa Panginoon. Mas lalo pang lumalim ang pag-asa natin sa Panginoon. Uh, alam po ninyo, sa hirap ng buhay ngayon, nandyan ang krisis, nandyan ang parating na naman yung mga kalamidad, uh, kaguluhan sa iba't ibang lugar, panahon po ng pandemya, uh, may mga ilan po sa atin na parabang nawawala na ang pag-asa nila sa Panginoon para bang humihina na ang pananampalataya nila sa Diyos. Palagi siguro tayong nananalangin para sa uh, para gumaan kahit konti man lang ang kahirapan sa buhay. Palagi, sa, palagi tayo siguro nananalangin na kahit umangat po ng konti ang ating kabuhayan. Uh, nalalalangin po tayo palagi na sana matapos na itong pandemic. Pero alam po ninyo kung minsan parang walang nangyayari. No? Parang walang nangyayari. Parang walang tugon sa mga panalangin po natin. Ang tayo tatangkot na nagagikira, agtayutan kumon, ibabaga. Agtayo ibabaga ya ang gapoy, nagagawa na Diyos. Kasi wala so maong ya agtayo na nanengneng ya ginawa na lang Diyos o dinugagawa na Diyos para at sikatayo. 
My dear brothers and sisters, look at our blessed Mother Mary. Tao rin siya na kagaya natin. Tao rin si Maria na kagaya natin at bilang isang tao na kagaya niya, marami pong dumating na pagsubok at kahirapan sa buhay ni Maria. And yet, God did not abandon her. Inasikaso na Diyos, tan inter na Diyos sa katawan. So anto kaman, yapang kaukulan ng inatayon Maria. Ngayon, nasa langit na si Maria at siya ang nananalangin para sa atin. Kaya kahit marami po ang pagsubok o kahirapan ang maaring dumating sa buhay po natin, hindi dapat mawala ang pananampalataya o pag-asa natin sa Panginoon. Hindi po dapat humina ang pananampalataya natin sa Panginoon. We must still be full of hope and faith in God dahil ang Panginoon ang nandyan palagi nakasama natin at ang ating inang Verhen Maria ay nandyan din na tumutulong palagi para sa atin. So, saya inyakar tayo jakumon at sayan misa di grasya so uh, amay makapan paaralom na pananisya tan panangaro tan pag-asa tayo o Diyos sa katawan. And number three, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, at dahil uh, nandito tayo ngayon, sana uh, ito po rin ang maging daan para mas lumalim pa po ang debosyon natin sa ating, sa ating inang Verhen Maria. Uh, tao rin si Maria na kagaya natin, kagaya ng sabi ko kanina, at isa siyang ina. He is our ma she is our mother. And As a mother, am tato suki papasan kayo namin. Alam niya ang lahat ng ng, ng kailangan natin at siya ang uh, maaring uh, magandang lapitan natin. Si kato sumarakapya uh, may asing garan tayo tapian nuntan at makapikero tayo na tulong o Dios yat pa na magloy na sari pika kasito. And uh, nagawan tayo yah labat magamang yayari lang po ito kung mayroon tayong malalim na debosyon sa ating inang berhen. Balat, no ang kaputan na debosyon tayo at sikat o siyempre panon tayon una singgar yung karaw na tulong o din na berhen Maria ay uh, maalala ko po yung isang uh, uh, sinabi ng isang matanda uh, kasi may 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 na-witness siyang isang disgrasya sa kanilang lugar at yung taong yun na nadisgrasya, palaging nadidisgrasya. Alam po nyo kung anong sabi ng matandang yun? The old, uh, the old woman commented, ayan, sabi niya, maraming kamalasan ang dumadating sa buhay ng taong yan kasi wala siyang debosyon. Wala siyang debosyon, sabi niya. So, our devotion, my dear brothers and sisters, to our Blessed Mother Mary will help us. It will protect us always. Kaya sana mas lalo pang lumalim itong debosyon na ito para sa ating inang Berhen Maria. And so my dear brothers and sisters, ang pagpunta sana natin ngayon dito ay uh, magdulot ng kasiyahan sa ating Panginoon. At syempre po sa ating inang Berhen Maria. But most especially, may it bear good fruit for us. Namely, nabangon kumon nobel bilang na naugip so panani siya tayo na banguntan kumon uh, mas unaralong kumon tan ungkasil so panani siya tan ilalo tayo edyo sa katawan tan syempre say balbalaga devotion tayo inan berhen maria at wad tanalan ng mansyan siya kumon tan mas unaralong mat amen there is so then Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deed of healing power. Through Him, let us now pray with confidence as we all say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to teach Christ's eternal truth with authority. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the hearts of world leaders may not be hardened as they hear Christ's voice today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those considering the religious life may seek to follow the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our blameless and holy lives may cast away the unclean spirits at work in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all powerful, we place before you our needs and pray confidently for your help and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that we and our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good in the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just of our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thank thankful hymn of praise. For truly, over the earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels declares your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary, all the clergy, religious, and your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, so please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor be yours forever and ever. We all pray to our Father in heaven, the source of an ending love, mercy, and grace.
si con mí. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace, I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Please kneel. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High God and the Son of Mary. He is the Lamb of God. He takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
we all kneel. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be your defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to be God. To God. Para po sa blessing ng mga may sakit, rosaries, and other religious articles, dyan lang po kayo sa mga kinatatayuan nyo ngayon. At kami na lang po ni Father Bot and Reverend Don ang iikot mamaya para sa sprinkling of holy water after the prayer blessing. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in your family. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of, the Lady, of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen and prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Let us pray. In the memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sing a hymn in honor of the Blessed Mother Mary. <laughs> 